Welcome back to another OpenTunes tutorial. In this video, we're going to be looking at interpolation, which is the way our object moves. So if we're driving it across the screen here like this truck, we can either have it be a constant speed the whole time, or we can have it slowly pick up speed and gain momentum and then go quickly and then slow down again. Um, there's some different options that we're going to be looking at. It's under the Animation tab here, this interpolation in the Function Editor. To get started, I'm just going to make some changes. So I'm going to stay in the Animation tab. I'm just going to scale down this truck. Oh, by the way, this truck I got from Pixabay. So pixabay.com, I'll include the link in the description. Appreciate this Joza FM 84 for sharing this artwork with us. Free for commercial use, no attribution required. It's a free download, so download it. It's a PNG if you want to follow along. I'm going to scale it first of all. So we'll scale it down to about this size, then go to position. I'm using the animate tool. And we'll put it up here. So we're just in frame one of our animation, column one. And I'm going to click on column one and go control C to copy it. And go to column two and go control V. And column three, control V, because I actually want three of these. And then we'll grab the third one and put it down here. We'll grab the second one and put it here. Because what I want to do is move these. Um, have them all three drive across, but we'll change the interpolation, we'll change the way they animate even though they're going from the same frames. So I'm holding down shift, I select the first one, hold down shift and click the third column and we'll just drag this handle here to create some nice maybe a hundred frames. Now we have a hundred frames, if we play it nothing happens because nothing's moving but it's just playing these frames over and over again a hundred times. So we'll take the first one, we'll go down to 100 and we'll move it to here. So this should have it just drive across, very good. So we'll do the same thing to the other two as well. So we take this one, we drive it here, we'll try to get them to about, we basically want to do the same thing. Perfect. Okay, so now these all just drive almost like as if they're tied together. They're, they're doing the same thing, but they are doing it independently. So, if you notice while this is playing, this function editor, look, it's actually scrolling down too. So, kind of whatever is happening in our X sheet and our timeline is also happening in this function editor. So, there, it actually has corresponding frames. We can click on like 21, corresponds with 21 over here. And if we click on it in the function editor, it takes us there in our X sheet. Um, I, and I'm going to adjust this a little bit so that we can see it a little bit better. So, we'll make our drawing a little smaller and we can see our function editor bigger. I'm in the animation tab. If you were in the basics tab, you can also bring up the function editor a couple ways. But the easiest way is just to double click on it. If you have a keyframe, double click on that key and it brings up the function editor in a separate window. And then we can change the interpolation. We can look at different things in our file structure here. So let's go back over to animation though. I'll just be doing it this way. So we see, we've talked a little bit about, a little bit about the stage schematic. We have our table, we have our camera and our different columns. These are also represented over here. So our column one in this, if we open up column one, we've talked a little bit about this. We have our east and west, north and south. We have the scale. So we have the, the rotation. So nothing is set right now. I didn't rotate these, so there's no data set for rotation under column one. But we do have east and west and north and south. Very, very slight north and south, which I don't really even want any. I can just select everything besides the initial one. Oh, it's just going super slow. But we'll select all of these. And then just hit the delete key. And now everything's deleted. So it's just staying one thing, one constant. Um, and so now it'll still, still play basically the same. Well, to change the interpolation, right now they're not really going. If you were trying to do like a loop or something, you might notice it might be kind of weird for you because it's doing this, uh, if we click on the column one and see what it is. It's actually doing, it says constant here, but it's what it's really doing is uh, speed in, speed out. So we can click down here and see these are all doing speed in, speed out. And see, so we can actually change that to linear and hit apply. So we just do the drop down, don't change anything else, just hit apply. And now that, that top one's going to play differently than the rest of them. So it's moving now at a constant speed. The top animation is where the other two are doing speed in and speed out. Um, let's change, let's go to column two then. So we come over here and collapse that and then expand column two and go to our east-west and it brings it up in here as well. So now we're looking at column two. It's easy to get confused too because column one's still up over here. We could make changes to it. So just be careful about that to not do that. We got column two and same thing. So column two, 
we'll click on the east and west and we'll change the interpolation to um, what should we do let's do um, ease in ease out percent 33 33 we'll just leave that that's gonna be very similar to what it was before but we'll hit apply and hit play and see what that does yeah very similar but a little bit different still but we can change it so we can have the ease in be something like very high like 93 percent and the ease out be something like three percent that means it's going to slowly build up speed we'll hit apply but then it's going to quickly kind of like slam on its brakes so it's way behind the rest and then it i mean it almost doesn't stop at all we could change this to maybe nine percent so it has a, slows down a little bit before the end and again the end is just the frame that we set it at so we could add in here and have it slow down and stop and then speed up again so play with these different interpolation options and just be aware that they are there and that by default it's going to do the speed in speed out to make things look very smooth but just know that um, if you're doing like a looping animation you're going to, uh, there's times when linear is going to be a much better fit it makes it look a lot less lopsided and a lot less cyclical so just know that those options are there and play with them um, if you have any comments or, or um, suggestions for things that work for you i'm always open to um, learning more about how to play with interpolations. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I hope to see you in the next video.